Hi, my name is Tendai and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I wash my bike, the items I use, which are a bucket, sponge, chain brush, chain cleaning tool, three cloths, ferry liquid, wheel cleaner, environmentally friendly biodegradable degreaser, GT85, rock and roll gold lube. And what I do is I get a bucket, as you can see in the bottom there, the yellow bucket with piping hot water and fairy liquid and that's what I use to actually wash all the crap off the bike um, no fancy um, bike cleaner or anything like that just good old fairy liquid see as you can see the bike is absolutely caked in shit um, I went out for a ride um, the other weekend and the Met Office had actually said that it wasn't going to rain and got caught out while I was um, sort of not even halfway through, right at the beginning of a hundred mile bike ride. Um, so I start off by sort of washing all the gritty bits off the bike. So the sand and mud and shit that, that's kicked up off the road, that's sort of dried onto the bike. Um, I start off by sort of spraying it off, being careful not to um, spray the bottom bracket and the, the head tube, uh, only because you don't want to get water in there uh, and that will cause your water problems. So be sure not to jet wash the bottom tube sorry the uh, bottom bracket and the head tube because uh, you don't want to get water in those those areas there um, so the shower setting on the on the hose is what you want to be using which I'm doing right now and then that way um, you know that you're not going to force water into the bottom bracket um, and then I just get the hot soapy water with a sponge and start washing the bike um, because I've got the Celeste color, it's very easy to see marks on the Celeste color. So um, as you're cleaning it, you'll find that there's going to be marks from grease and stuff like that on, on, on the um, on the bike. Um, so I'll repeat this process maybe <laughs> three, four times because I've, I've, I've got OCD uh, and I try and get the bike as clean as possible. As you can see, I'm sort of talking to the camera going, this is the first one. Actually, this is the first time I've washed this bike in three months. Um, I've had the bike for three months. I've ridden it a few times in, in fair weather and this is the first time that I got caught out in the rain on it. Um, so I felt that it, it needed a, a, a really good wash. I mean, I've cleaned it before, but not actually had to wash it. So here I'm using the wheel cleaner and I only apply it to the wheels and the rear cassette basically. Um, I've got a biodegradable decreaser. Everything that I use is environmentally friendly. Um, and biodegradable so nothing that's going to do harm to our seas or our fishes or our rivers um, so yeah everything is environmentally friendly and biodegradable so I spray that on once I've um, sort of got the bike wet and got most of the grit off it then I'll put the uh, wheel cleaner on the wheels just the wheels only and the rear cassette um, so yeah just apply that generously and then leave that on there for a while while you're cleaning the rest of the bike just make note of the chain here it is absolutely caked so the chain is not actually black <laughs> um, you're going to see the, the color of the actual chain once I've cleaned the chain um, but it, that's just to give you an idea of how grimy the bike is um, the rear cassette you can't even tell um, what that it's 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 actually black uh, from what you can see here um, that's how that's how dirty it is so yeah I'm, I'm applying soapy hot soapy water on there again just to get rid of all the the, the grime and uh, the dirt of, of the bike um, it's actually one of those things where if you've got a, a light colored bike to keep it clean is an absolute mission I mean it looks fantastic don't get me wrong but keeping it clean is an absolute mission
here the wheel cleaner has been on the wheels now um, for just about three four minutes uh, I'm, I'm pretty pleased that it's got all the grime off of the uh, of the wheels um, on my um, deep sections I've got some Celeste and some writing on there um, so you do notice the the markings especially the black suit that kicks off the road um, it really does um, get them dirty so uh, a good wheel cleaner will get all that crap off the, all your wheels um, especially if you've got deep sections which which have got decals on there um, so that's a really good way of sort of keep, keeping them clean as you can see the, the Celeste is more more um, prominent now and the writing is more prominent you can actually see fulcrum on there as well I mean through the soap you'll see fulcrum once I've sort of rinsed it off um, but yeah um, a good wheel cleaner is good you don't necessarily need one um, I just use it on my wheels because I've got the um, writing on it, the decals and I want to keep them um, looking as new as possible and as fresh as possible so I've got one that's not too harsh um, so these these there's no chemicals in here that are going to damage your well my paintwork um, if anybody wants to know what it is that I use as in brands um, yeah just just uh, put the request in the comment section and what I'll do is I'll post the links to all the items that I use on my bike um, or my bikes should I say now I'm just going to rinse it all off uh, and then we'll see if I've got most of the crap off the bike uh, at this stage I'm really happy because um, the wheels are very clean the frame is absolutely spotless uh, um, barring a few marks here and there um, I don't really use the degreaser on, on, on the bike um, I'll show you what I use to get the, the marks, the grease off the, 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 the bike or the frame should I say um, it's a very very simple way of doing it and it protects the um, the paintwork as well and gives the uh, frame a nice little shine if that's what, what you're after and that's what I, I like my bike to have that little shine on it um, so yeah I, at the end I'm going to show you what it is that I do to get rid of those final stubborn marks off your frame especially if you've got a celeste coloured bike uh, like me or a light coloured bike like me alright so yeah, so I just finished off rinsing it off and and then we'll start cleaning the drivetrain. Cool. So here I'm applying my biodegradable environmentally friendly degreaser onto my drivetrain. So onto the cassette, rear cassette, on the chain, on the um, on the rear derailleur. Um, Sometimes I'll get it on the pedals, depending on whether they've got grime and dirt on them. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so get that on there. Generously, I usually have a, um, a, a what I've got the uh, degreaser in is basically a, a five liter water bottle that I've cut the bottom off. And I use that to sort of uh, put my pour my degreaser into uh, and then what I'm doing now is I've got the brush and I'm just, um, as you can see, I've just taken it up and down the uh, cassette, getting in between the um, the rear cassette, um, in between the different sprockets there, uh, getting all the dirt and the grime loosened up uh, from the uh, rear cassette and all the grease off it. Um, this is a very good degreaser that I'm using here. I'm really happy with it. Uh, it's very, very good and it's not too harsh on my chain or my cassette. Um, and basically, even though it does get rid of the grease off there, um, it doesn't damage anything in terms of my, my paintwork or anything like that, where it's not got any chemicals in there that are going to damage anything on my bike, which, are, which is what I'm sort of happy about. If you look closely, you can actually see my cassette and the chain um, are already looking cleaner and I haven't actually um, done much cleaning. All I've done is apply the degreaser on there, just rubbed it in, um, scrubbed it a little bit, especially the cassette, but not the chain itself. Um, here I'm just going through the um, where the, the, the pedal attaches onto the crank arm. Um, they usually get um, black grease in there which is not very nice so I'll clean that off and then I'll, I'll lube it up afterwards once the bike is clean so I want to get all the, the dirt and the grime or anything that might that might have grit or attract grit uh, and wear down any of my components um, so yeah
getting rid of all the, the, the grime and dirt and, and grit will make your components last longer. So a clean bike uh, is a fast bike to start with. Uh, I know you've heard that before. Uh, also a clean bike, if you keep your bike clean, if you keep your components clean, they obviously last longer because there's not a lot of, um, uh, how can I put it, resistance. Um, there's not a lot of corrosive stuff on there. Um, anything that might wear um, your, your components out quicker. So I'm now attaching the chain cleaning tool with degreaser inside it, spilling about half of it really. Um, it's kind of hard to put it on there without spilling most of the uh, degreaser out of it. So once I've got it on there, I just um, turn the uh, crank arm and rotate the chain through the chain cleaning tool, as you can see there. And it gets, uh, I'd say about 99.9 percent of all the crap out of the chain um, talking to the camera <laughs> but um, the mic was on but the the sound is not very good I was talking all the way through um, about what I'm doing and stuff like that but the sound wasn't really coming through because I was outside there's loads of birds and uh, it was a really beautiful day um, so yeah as you can see the chains looking very clean already you can actually see the difference in the color of the, the chain and the cassette at this stage and then on the rear derailleur um, there's a bit of dirt on there so I'm trying to get that off um, another thing that I like to do is I like to take the wheels off which I'm going to do in a bit um, and get in between um, the forks and, and get all the, gr the grime and the dirt in there that, that, that catches in there that you can't get to because the wheels in a way um, but yeah um, try and get all the, the grit off your uh, rear derailleur um, your chain and then that will make your drive chain last a lot longer and all your components last longer all right So as I mentioned before, I like to take the wheels off. So here I'm just putting back the front wheel back on. I just cleaned inside the front fork and now I'm taking the rear wheel off and um, you'll see what, what I do. So when I'm taking my rear wheel off, I get the through axle off on this one and just get that out. Um, all right. It's a bit slippery <laughs> there we go that's that out and then with my right arm i'll pull the rear derailleur out of the way and just slide the wheel out as simple as that now now that i've got the wheel off um, i'm going to clean as you'll see in a minute all the areas that i couldn't get to before because the wheel was in the way Sometimes there's not much dirt in there and I don't need to take the wheel off, which is awesome. And uh, in this instance, it really had to come off because there was um, horrible crap in there. And um, I really had to take it off to be able to get to it and clean it properly. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with the bike stand as well, which makes my life a, a lot easier. And when I took it out, I realized that the rear derailleur had a lot of crap on the inside that I would never have got to because the wheel and the spokes were in the way. Uh, and now that I've got it off, I can get I can get into the other side of it, get rid of all the soot on the um, on the rear little flywheels and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased that um, I've, I've got this stand basically. Uh, which makes it easier for me to work. I'm not really hunched over really low trying to get to places and stuff like that on the bike. Um, and it's, I'm actually very comfortable while I'm cleaning my bike because of it. 
um, I can stand up straight or I can just lean over just a little bit like this and it's not for prolonged periods of time so I'm never uncomfortable while I'm doing this so anytime I'm working on my bikes I find it very very easy to do it because um, I can stand upright I can see what I'm doing um, if I want I can take it up even higher but there's no need for me to go too high with this this is a, a comfortable height to work on and clean the bike um, at the moment I've got the bike um, attached on the head tube I'm just putting the wheel back in place now that I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that it's clean I've got it on a head tube because initially when I first started washing the bike the seat post had like dried sand on it and I didn't really want to clamp onto the uh, dry sand in case it damaged um, my, my seat post and, and marked it and scraped it so um, the head tube was clean so um, or well, relatively clean so that's why I've got it sort of um, clamped onto the onto the head tube and that's not very tight either it's just lightly clamped on it so the bike doesn't fall out that's about that's about the tightness of it it's not really clamped on it it's just about gripping the bike so it doesn't fall out as you can see the bike moves about a bit because it's quite loose in there um, so once I've got the, uh, the the rear wheel back in I'll just clean around where there's a bit of dirt on the um, on the on the through axle um, when I took it out it just revealed that it had a bit of shit on it so I've cleaned that off um, clean all the marks from when I was touching the um, the dirt and stuff like that off the uh, the cramp arm wash all my fingerprints off rinse it off and yeah move on to the next stage of uh, cleaning the bike now that as you can see I mean look at the difference in the chain I mean when I rinse it off you're gonna really see it there's a huge difference with the chain the rear cassette um, it's really really come out clean I'm, I'm pleased with this degreaser it's absolutely amazing and then coupled with the uh, chain tool chain cleaning tool should I say um, they make a very good team and it keeps your your, your chain absolutely spotless um, as you can see look at that chain look at the um, the rear cassette they look awesome absolutely spotless um, this is a microfiber cloth. Uh, I use that to dry my uh, my bike. I've got a few of these, um, and I uh, yeah, I use one to dry it, and I use another one to just wipe it down um, when it's already clean. Um, after a ride, if I just want to wipe crap off it, uh, fine dust or anything like that, I just use that. And then this is the third cloth. So I was talking about three cloths. So this is one this is the third one so i've got the microfiber which is orange i've got another white clean one like that one that i'm using um and then basically what i do is the other one i use it on my chain and that's for my chain only the one i was just using which is number three number two i use on my frame and number one i use on my frame and i use that to dry the frame after i've washed it and i'm applying lube onto the chain um, by the rear cassette and <laughs> Um, I, there's those people that, that put a drop in each chain link um, I'm not exactly putting a drop on in each chain link but I'm almost putting a drop in each chain link because it took forever to do it and it always takes me forever to do it and it's kind of made me think about waxing my chain rather than doing this as it stays cleaner for longer uh, and is better for, for your chain especially in this weather um, if I do get caught out in the rain again um, so I'm just getting the GT85 into the moving parts on my rear derailleur and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe off all the excess lube and stuff like that because um, if I leave it on it's going to attract soot, dirt and dust so we don't want that at all so any excess lube you want to wipe off um, once you've got it in, in all your moving parts and stuff like that so I don't use the GT85 everywhere I just use it on the on the uh, uh, areas that you can't get into with a decent lube um, so the rock and roll gold lube I use that on most parts of the bike like my drivetrain and stuff like that but then the areas that I can't get into um, I use the GT85 so here I'm just wiping off all the excess lube from the rear derailleur and stuff like that there we go um, bit of excess lube on the actual cassette itself that I'm just wiping off 
because the areas that you want to get the lube into is the chain and then what I'll do is I'll get the cloth clamp it onto the onto the chain and then sort of revolve um, turn the, uh, the crank arm uh, to get any of the excess lube off the actual chain itself because it only needs to be on the uh, moving internal parts of the chain not on the exterior part of the chain because that's what attracts dirt and grime as well so you need to wipe the excess lube off and then here's cloth number two which I use on the frame so what I do is I spray the GT85 onto that cloth and then I use it to then wipe the bike and what that does is it does two things it gets rid of any marks that are still on the bike in terms of grease the black marks from the grease because it's celeste it's going to come up you're going to see it it takes them off cleanly and it gives your bike a nice shine and protects the paintwork ever so slightly no, I'm not saying it's 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 a uh, it's it's a sure thing in terms of but it just gives you that clean um, thin layer or veneer of, of protection and whilst giving your bike a nice shine um, and giving it a little bit of protection but there you go bike is absolutely spotless looks brand new again doesn't it um, really happy with how it turns out every time I clean it looks absolutely beautiful right that's it for me thank you very much for watching uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comment section if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button please like share comment and thank you very much for stopping by see you later